Hey guys, Mickey Tech here. Um, I'm going to do a review look at iOS 6 for the new iPad, iPad 3rd gen. And as you can see, I'm running iOS 6.0, so iOS 6 beta 1. Um, so what we'll do here is, since we're in here, we have the Do Not Disturb, which, as you can see, there is now a moon at the top. You go into Notifications, and you can set the time of Do Not Disturb. Do you, when do you not want to be disturbed? Like, when obviously, when you go to bed, that is the time you do not want to be disturbed. Um, it has repeated calls. So if they call within the first three minutes after the first call, they will get through. Because um, it could obviously will be really important because someone's really trying to get hold of you for one reason or another. So I always leave that on. Um, now in mail, um, you have a VIP in mail now. So if I go down here, mail, VIP. Now in VIP, you can add all your favourite people, uh, people you want you hear from on a regular basis. Um, that you know like businesses or friends that you want to keep hold of instead of always getting spam because in mail you do get quite a lot of spam and with VIP you put in what you want to be in there uh, which is really nice also you may notice on the home screen here we have clock now I thought it would say clocks but it says clock so in clock we have something that was apparently meant to be introduced in the iPad 1, but it never was because Steve Jobs didn't like it. Now, I think this is pretty smart, in my own personal opinion. You've got Cupertino, New York, Paris, Beijing, Tokyo, London. You can click on either one, any of these, um, any of these clocks, make it bigger, just like that. Um, which is really nice, nice little feature. You can edit, take out the ones you don't want, and add in ones that you do. Um, and also down here in Cupertino, you've got the weather. Oh, sorry. Um, you have the weather and the temperature in all these places, which is really good. Um, New York is currently the hottest on the ones that I've got at 24. Um, and the time there is quarter past four in the afternoon. So afternoon to you guys. Um, but no, that's um, a really nice feature. I really like that. You do also have alarms, stopwatch, and timer which really nice but we have maps now these have 3d maps I'm not impressed as yet guys as you know if you've seen my iOS 6 on the iPhone review um, I'm not that impressed at the moment um, it's good but Google Street and everything was a lot better but it will get better I'm, I'm hoping <laughs> fingers crossed um, but no, um, you have the new interfaces on App Store. Here we go. New look to the App Store. Same as on the iPhone. Um, they've all updated it with the scrolls. I think that's really smart. I really like that. And if you go to Featured, I think iOS 6 seems to be a lot more compatible and everything with the new iPad. I think it works better with the new iPad. Um, so you've got your App Store has been updated. Also iTunes has been updated. There we go. Now you get like all these and you can scroll through them like this which is really nice. That is a really nice feature. You can click on them and see the information about them, how much they are, and everything like that. That is a really nice feature also. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just come out of that now. And in the camera, nothing has changed in the camera. Um, which is disappointing. I thought they could have just added a little more features or something to the camera. But that's it with that, guys. But the major improvement... Hello, Siri is Siri. Hi, Michael. So, Siri is now on the iPad. Third gen only. Um, we know it will run on the iPad too, but they have just done it to 
the new iPad and the iPhone 4S. You can kind of see why, because they're the newer devices, they want to push them. Uh, but we know it runs on the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4. But, you know, nothing we can really do apart from jailbreak and get it that way. Um, so what we'll do here, I'll just do a few things with Siri. Launch videos. So it works exactly the same as it does on the iPhone. Launch Twitter. Works, to be honest, it works a lot smoother, I think. Um, check out my other video of the iOS demo, uh, the Siri demo, um, on my previous video, and let me know what you think. Does it look smoother to this one to you? Just leave it in the comments, guys. And also, um, we'll ask it the weather. What's the weather? Okay, here's the weather through Tuesday. So you get all of the weather as well, which is fantastic. Um, the only trouble with the weather is, which I don't quite understand, is with the iPhone, you ask the weather, you get the weather. Um, with the iPad, there's no weather app. Why not put a weather app in? Um, if we can ask the weather and you give us the weather, why not put a weather app in? So if I just ask again, I'll try clicking on it and see if anything happens. What's the weather today? Here's the weather today. Nothing. You know, I think they should probably have a weather app. They might as well. They've put a bloody clock in, for God's sake. So, you know, put a weather app in. Um, set reminder. Okay, just tell me what you want to be reminded about. So you can absolutely do everything on this now that you can on the iPhone 4S. Um, you can search movies, you can search English Premier League. Wayne Rooney. You know, you can do all of these things now. Here's Wayne Rooney. So there we go. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys, really. Um, Siri is the major improvement on the new iPad. Um, fantastic that it's finally there. should have been there in the first place. Um, I was pretty sure it was going to come because it had dictation anyway. So that's it, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please thumbs up the video and please hit that subscribe button at the top to get all videos first. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.